I usually come on Instagram when, you know, and get more personal, I guess you could say. When I'm just like, I usually just come to Instagram to talk usually because I'm just so sorrowful and I'm sad and I'm sick. Like I, I look at my face, you know, I look at my face and it's, I don't even like looking at my face anymore. It's not as bright as it used to be. It's not as healthy as it used to look. I hate looking at my eyes specifically. Because I see the pain. You can tell by the lines in my face that I've cried a lot in my life. And that's really hard when an empath sees that in themselves. That they've cried a lot. Like, I don't, I don't know why so many bad things are happening to me lately. Like, it's just one bad thing over another and it just won't stop. Like, I don't even have the energy to sit up. But people expect me to sit up. <laughs> expect me to do things. They expect me to be healthy. And I'm not healthy. I'm so sick. And it's bad how sick I am. And can I have some prayers? That I, you know, get what I need. Because I'm hungry. I'm hungry. And I'm tired. Like, I don't have the energy like I used to anymore for anything. And then it's like you have to deal with these fucking assholes at the same time and you're saying you're lying about what you're saying. I wish I was. I wish I had one day where I felt good. One day where I'm treated like I matter. 
and like I'm a human being. It's just one day where I'm not like... torn apart. And like... Where I'm not misunderstood. I'm just one day of not feeling misunderstood. Just one day where I have energy and I'm not hurting or feeling really fucking sick. Just one day. No. Every day is the same. Isolated bullshit. You wake up in pain. You do what you need to do, and it's in pain. You talk to people, and they're just so nasty to you. That causes emotional pain. I wish I lived in a world where people could care again. I wish I lived in a world where I felt loved. It's like, I, uh, if there's one thing I envy people on, it's probably because they're loved. I never figured out how to be loved. I just, I look at things and I, I look at the world and I realize how much people don't care. Like... I feel like I'm dying most of the day, so it's like, I'm just trying to spiritually be there, you know, be where Jesus wants me to be spiritually, and, you know, it's like, I, I don't have energy to be angry. I just avoid situations like that. I don't have the energy. Oh, Lord Jesus, can you please give me some food? Yeah, my stomach really hurts. Yeah. I...
like it's like you're cornered. And there's no way, no way to go. Hi, Maddie. That's how I feel. Quartered. And it used to be when I felt cornered. I used to lash out and react so intensely and now I don't even have the energy for it. I don't even have the energy to fight back. I like my dreams, though. It's like my dreams as a place where I can, like, emotionally deal with stuff and all the pain and stuff. All the loss, you know. Like, my pain levels are so bad lately. Probably getting emotional doesn't help, help it either. The intensity of how I feel. <laughs> you know, I started... Getting hope that maybe, maybe life will turn around. It's gone again. It was stolen from me. My hope. It was stolen from me again. But I don't want to make God proud more than man. And if I have to endure adversity and try to be silent during it and and not try to hurt someone during it. I know I'm doing good by God. And that's important. But I need prayers. And I'm not doing good. I feel like I've aged like 10 years. I look like it. All those the wrinkles in my face. And I hate looking at my face now. I hate it. I hate 
I'm having hope. 